Just another ordinary day for Palantir until we see a random post out of nowhere that says Palantir got their $44 price target slashed to $8.50. But something smells a little fishy here, and be careful when you just see the headlines. But we supposedly get a new analyst downgrade from UBS for Palantir stock, going down from a buy to a neutral rating. But the bigger eye-catching part is their price target of $44 down to $8.50. Now, for someone who doesn't cover Palantir as much as myself, this could be a genuine mistake. This is just another story to add on to the fire that Palantir is maybe overvalued or ready to be hated on by the markets because of their growth and multiples being awarded to it from the market. But in my time making videos for Palantir, UBS doesn't have a rating on Palantir to my knowledge. And even the $44 price target is crazy too, with the highest one I believe being Dan Ives currently at $35. Now, unless I miss something, maybe someone will find something back in history books, but I believe this is a mistake in the reporting. And we know a lot of these sites like Market Screener, but others too, automate their article generations, especially when it comes to these quick headlines and changing in analyst ratings and or price targets, so it wouldn't be a surprise to me if this is just an issue. So if we see more information out, I'll let you know, but right now, I don't believe this is accurate. Now, even further, it won't be surprising to see the conspiracies coming out. This is obviously after the strong rejection that happened on Friday where Palantir did not hold the $26 range, but today there doesn't seem to be any large price movement as it's hovering around the 24s. Some may cry foul, think it's a short seller trying to manipulate markets, or could be a genuine mistake like I mentioned, but with volatility around a name like Palantir and the intention it's getting, it's not surprising to see even both sides trying to maybe possibly make money off these price movements regardless of the direction. So for me, that's just speculation and not pointing any fingers and probably would never be easy to find evidence regardless, so I'd rather just chalk it up to their article generation issue rather than an intentional nefarious actor. And I think this is more telling of around the attention Pouncer is getting of the stock itself and the news and media around it. So it's not necessarily the underlying business though, although it could be positively spill over and informing folks to look deeper at about what Pouncer truly does, as well as that narrative around it. But either way, it's something you could say is a byproduct of how people view Pounder's valuation. And obviously, you'll get a million different answers from a million different people, especially how everyone weighs the qualitative versus the quantitative aspects and how you chalked it up to valuation, as well as the risk that you're willing to take. But that's up to you, and no one should be trying to convince you what works best for yourself. But I'm curious to know your thoughts. Do you think this was a genuine mistake or some form of manipulation? Let me know below, and I'll see you in the next video.